Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just doing a quick get ready with me. Quick nothing because none of my videos are ever quick. They're always like 30 minutes long. So if you don't like long videos you are subscribed to the wrong channel. But anyway I like personally I like to watch uh, long videos like if people I subscribe to uh, make like a 30 minute video that just like makes me really excited so hopefully it doesn't bother you all too much um I am trying something different with where I see it I'm kind of like offset a little bit but like still like what's in focus I kind of just like the way it looks it like shows my background more adds more life and color to uh, my videos so if that's like completely annoying to you all please let me know I've seen other YouTubes do that like YouTubers do that to where they're kind of like offset a little bit rather than like perfectly centered and I kind of like the way it looks uh, but if for some reason that's like a really annoying you can let me know down below and I can start sitting in the middle again but it also puts me a little bit closer to my window and I just like the way it looks and feels and all that anyway uh, I do have my brows on uh, my eyes already have my tape on and my eyes are primed and set and today is actually my dad's wedding uh, they're just uh, having a very small wedding at her mom's house and then we're having a reception um, So we're not like wearing like dresses or anything like that. I'm just got like a nice shirt on and uh, some jeans um, But I still wanted to do my eye makeup nice um, so today I'm actually going to be using my um, Alice through the looking glass palette and then some of my makeup geek eyeshadows uh, but yeah, so it's an exciting day. Um, my dad's fiance, soon to be wife today, her name is Gail and we absolutely love her. She is so good to my dad and he just really deserves somebody to be good to him. Um, Y'all apparently know uh, now, I've mentioned it in another video, but if you didn't watch that video, my mom and dad get, did get divorced this year. Um, and the blame was 100% on her, like, completely. Um, and then after the divorce was final, Gail came along. And my dad has just fell head over heels in love. And we love her, and she's just so good to him. So today is a very, very happy day because he deserves it. If anybody deserves it, it's my dad. So, um, for those of you that don't know, my dad is a preacher. He, uh... He's actually a pastor at a little white church in the town where he grew up, uh, which isn't like far from here or anything. I said that like he's like miles and miles and miles away, but actually I live like five minutes from my dad, but the little church that he pastors is like a 30, 35 minute drive, something like that. Um, so he drives that every week, uh, several times, but, um, no, I actually just live like five minutes away from him. So I'm actually meeting him today because I have actually never been to uh, Gail's mom's house yet. Um, and that's where they're getting married. I may have mentioned that. They're just getting married in her little house. Um, but I've never been there. So uh, I'm actually following him today so that I actually make it to the wedding. Uh, anyway, what I did was use the uh, matte vanilla pinky shade from the uh, Alice palette. And this is looking looking glass uh okay so anyway i'm gonna go into a fluffy brush and i'm gonna go into if you see me doing this all the time it's because i have this ponytail and it itches my neck like i'm so used to not having anything on my neck which is one reason why i'm always cutting my hair off uh or it's in a bun because i just cannot stand to have like hair touching my neck which is why i never wear it down and with this ponytail i feel it like rubbing against it and it like itches me but anyway so I apologize that's probably gonna be annoying but I'm going into reflection it's just a peachy matte shade and I'm just going to apply that as my transition okay, so now what do I want to do I am going to go I'm gonna go into the shade chessboard this just matte brown down here actually it looks like it maybe has no i thought i had glitter but i think it was just another shade like um sprinkled on top of it but i'm just going to go into a tapered blending brush and i'm going to go into chessboard pretty heavily and i'm going to apply this in the crease 
Okay, and I'm going to warm that crease up just a little bit because I am going to be using a cool tone eyeshadow on my lid. So I want my uh, crease to kind of counteract it a little bit because I don't like just straight cool tones. So I'm going to go into Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek, which is kind of just a warm tone brown. It's not like red or anything, but it is fairly warm toned. Let me, sh let me show you like compared to chessboard that we just used. So this is a uh, chessboard and then this is Cocoa Bear. So you can see it's a little bit more warm. And I'm taking that on a slightly more detailed brush and applying that to the crease. I'm actually going to do a look similar, very similar to what I did with um, the Kathleen Lights palette. Like that's the kind of look I wanted to go for, like as far as the style. Um, so it's going to be similar to that. Like I'm going to use the same techniques, but just using different shadows and different colors. I was not going to use the Makeup Geek shadows again today. Because that is all I've used since I've had them. And I wanted to... Not Makeup Geek. ColourPop. I'm sorry. ColourPop shadows again today. But um, that's all I've used since I've had them. So I wanted to branch out and use some of my other stuff. So now I'm just taking my NYX Glitter Primer. Carving out the lid. You all know the drill. Okay, now I'm going into my Alice palette. And I'm going into this beautiful blue called Meta Metamorphous. Uh, or no, metamorph yeah, metamorphosis. Met metamorphosis. <laughs> anyway, I think I've only used this shade once and I didn't use a primer with it, so I'm anxious to see how it does because it is such a pretty, pretty blue, so I'm hoping it goes on pretty opaque. But I'm going to pat that over where I put that primer. Okay, so liking how that looks, I'm going to go back into Cocoa Bear and just reapply this to the crease a little bit. Okay, so that's where we're at. I just kind of blended the crease out a little bit and then patted a little bit more blue on until I got the consistent, not consistency, the shading that I wanted, the look I wanted, whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit more on my lid right in the center. Just like I did with the color pop one. So I'm gonna add it right here to the center and like up to where that blue ends, like meets the crease. And then I'm going into Color Pops High Wire, which is this really pretty like uh, foil blue. It's almost the shade of my shirt, and I'm actually just using my finger for that. I love to use these shades with just my fingertip. These I could actually I wouldn't need a glitter primer because I always just use them just the way they are and they're plenty opaque enough but I just stuck a little bit on there anyway but I'm just going to pat that right on top so that's how the eyes are turning out I did add a little bit more cocoa bear on each end like corner of my eye outer corner of my eye um yeah I just go back and forth with whatever colors I'm using until I get the look that I want Okay, I was going to use my Wet n Wild eyeliner, but my cap totally just broke. But I was almost out of this anyway, so we'll move on to my e.l.f. one. Okay, so I'm just taking my e.l.f. liquid liner and going to add a wing. Okay, so now I'm just going to peel my tape away. That's how my eyes turned out. I really, really like them. I think they're really pretty. They're like got that blue, but they're not like uh, too cool toned and like clownish, if that makes sense. I think the brown really balanced it out. So I really, really like that. Now I'm going to move on to my face. I'm uh, just going to use my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. There are so many people that does not like this primer. Like I've seen so many bad reviews. Like talking about how it like peels up and things like that. And I haven't experienced anything like that. But I have noticed a lot of the people that um, um, did the reviews have like an oilier skin. And I have very, very dry skin. So maybe it's just re not reacting well to the oils in their skin. Uh, but for my like extremely desert dry skin, this stuff is like so good. But I have not seen but like one good review on this. But I personally love it. So 
Okay, I want a re really full coverage look today, so I'm going to use my Kat Von D. But I'm also going to mix it in with a little bit of my NARS All Day Luminous because this is very matte. And it's kind of light for me, but I'm just going to dot it like more in the places where I need more coverage and brightening. So like around here. <laughs> and then the other one, I'm going to put more on the like outsides of my face that don't need quite as much coverage. Um, I'm going to blend this out first. Now I'm going to take some of my NARS, which is a little bit darker and a little bit more of a yellow tone, but not quite as much coverage and a little bit more luminous, and I'm going to add that to the outsides of my face. This will be my last use of the Tarte Shape Tape. It is just getting scraped to the very last. Which I've heard like if you can take the stopper out of some of these you can get product that you couldn't reach before. So I may try that. But for now I'm just going to use it like this. I'm just putting very little under my eyes because I've got that Kat Von D which is practically like a concealer in itself. I'm just going to set everything with my Japanese Velvet Finishing Powder. Now I'm going to finish up my eyes and give my uh, face makeup a chance to really settle good and blend into my skin before I try to put a lot of like bronzer and stuff on top because I don't want to look blotchy. Um, I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'm going to use um, this um, eyeliner in the Platinum Blonde. Y'all know I love this. Right, I'm going to take the shade, you can't even see this because it's all gone, but this is Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to plop that right in the inner corner. Oops. I'm going to take this fluffy, not fluffy, chubby, I meant chubby, taking some of the shadow off of it, this chubby um, pencil brush, and I'm going to go into Cocoa Bear, which is that warm brown, and I'm just going to run that underneath. Then I'm going to take my new favorite, the L'Oreal uh, Lash, Voluminous Lash Paradise. This stuff is amazing. And I'm going to apply to my top and bottom lashes. Actually, you know what? Today would be a good day to do the blue mascara on the bottom. I will do that. So I'm just going to put this on the top. Okay, so my eyes are done and I am loving them. I love, it's just the perfect amount of blue without being too much. Like, I, I'm really happy. Like, I feel like I've stepped my makeup game up lately. Is it just me or do y'all feel that way too? Or am I just like full of myself? That's very possible. Okay, so for my face, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Contour Kit. I need to grab my face brushes. I need to put my eye brushes back. Okay, so Anastasia Contour Kit. I need my brush. Okay, I'm going to go into the shade. I think this one's called Fawn. It's the cool tone. And I'm just taking this uh, kind of like flat brush. This is the Real Techniques 301. And I'm just going to, I use it, I stamp at first. So I'm going to kind of stamp out where I want that carved. And this is a step I don't usually do, like in my everyday makeup. I usually just do a little bit of bronzer and go. But I want to be a little extra today. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to kind of blend upward. Now I'm going to take some of my Cody Airspun face powder and I'm going to use my L'Oreal sponge here and I'm going to dip into that and I'm going to carve out that contour. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing. I'm going to go into this warmest shade over here on the end. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm going to dip in there pretty good. I want it to be an even coat. But then I'm going to really tap that off. Okay, and I'm even going to rub just a little bit on my arm. 
and then I'm going to apply that like over top of where that um, contour is going into my Urban Decay uh, Gwen Stefani palette and I'm going to go into the shade uh, Hush which is right here. It's just a very natural pink with some glow in it and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks because I don't want to add a lot of extra color because with the contour and everything we have plenty of color going on so this is just going to kind of mesh everything together good and help blend all that. Okay, so now I'm going to take this fluffy powder brush and I'm going to knock off that powder and kind of just rub. I'm not rubbing downwards, I'm just rubbing back and forth to make sure that line isn't too, too harsh. So once again, I'm going to go into my uh, Alchemist palette. This is my new favorite. Um, and I'm going to go into the blue shade to go with the eyes and everything else on my face is so warm that I think I can get away with it today. So the blue sapphire highlight. Okay, and I'm just did I get blue? Yes, I did. Okay, and I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. Yes, that's really pretty. That really ties in well with the eye look. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Mario Badescu skincare facial mist. Uh, absolutely love this stuff, and it really does blend your makeup together so well. And the mister is like perfect. I know I've said that before, but it really is. Also putting it down on my neck because it does have skincare properties. And my neck doesn't get a lot of skincare. And uh, I mean, it's not really at a point where it's aging yet. But you know what? It's never too, too early to start. I want to do a very, uh, very neutral lip. I don't want like a nude nude like a really really pale nude but I do want it to be kind of a neutral so I'm going to use Lolita because it's kind of warm but it's not like a red lipstick so I'm just going to do that okay so that's my look for today I really really like how everything turned out I hope it's not looking too harsh on camera because it actually looks really really pretty in person I'm loving the eye look I'm loving the lip with the eye look I think my face is looking good so yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. So hopefully it looks good in pictures because there will be pictures today, obviously. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I didn't highlight my shoulders. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna use this ColourPop uh, Flexitarian highlight for my shoulders and I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. So I'm just gonna dip in there. I'm going to add that to my, my shoulders. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. We do it on this side too. There. I like it. Anytime I have a cold shoulder shirt on, I always have to do my shoulders. Because, I don't know, it's just pretty. Okay, so that is everything. I love you guys. I hope you enjo enjoyed. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.